Hey guys, Jewish Boy Josh here, and this is uh, an advanced muscle flash tutorial. And uh, this is an effect that we used in one of our recent videos on my main channel, Jews Making Movies, uh, called Don't Cry Over Spilt Milk. I'll put an annotation somewhere over there. And uh, so, uh, here, first, what you need is a clip of you shooting your gun. If your gun has blowback, that's good. Or you can make your own blowback, but uh, I'll go into that into a different tutorial. So, what you want to do is go right about to the frame where the gun blows back. Now you want to go new composition, make it the same size as your actual footage, and then go layer, new, solid, make it white, and make it comp size. So put out a rough mask of what you think a muzzle flare would be. Something like that. So it's not perfect, doesn't matter, you can change it afterwards. So what you want to go is effects, Learn Sharpen CC Radial Fast Blur and change the amount and center it properly. There we go. Now go Effects Stylize Glow and put sort of a, an orange color on it. Tint that orange then composite original on top and glow based on alpha channels. So give it a little bit of intensity, a little bit of a radius, and a little bit of a threshold. So. That's about good. So once you do that, go effects, then distort, turbulent displacement. That'll do is it kind of gives it that fire-like look. So adjust the complexity, adjust the size until it's something you like. So. That's about good. So, okay. Once you do that, you want to pop your composition right there. Then walk the in and out frames by going Alt, left, and right bracket. And you want it to be one frame. You want to go layer, transform, flip horizontally. Put it there, and then by holding Shift, it keeps its dimensions. Although. So I did flip it upside down, just click S on your footage, and then you can adjust the scale. What you want your flash to be is just about the size of your gun, and shrink it down until it's about right there. So, to sort of add to it, what you can do is, uh, this is a tip I learned from Freddy W. and Corridor Digital, just duplicate your footage, walk your endpoint in, and then go blending mode, add. So, cover just the flash there. And go to your mask options, feather it to about 315. Be about good. And if your edges are kind of looking like that, just go back to your comp here. And then bring the glow intensity down. Okay, that looks good. So just adjust your opacity until you sort of like it. 82 is working for me. Then what you want to do is you want to mask your opacity, go two frames, and bring it to zero. There we go. And looking at that without the mask, it looks alright. But could look better. And how you can do that is you want to get a smoke smoke puff. I get mine from Detonation Films and uh, from the side and from the front I get it from the uh, NC Cinemas pack. You want to start getting packs if you're going to be serious about making action movies and uh, making your own smoke is very frustrating and you just not really something I want to get into right now. So Rotate it, put it under your clip, 
change the blending mode to screen and make it a little bigger and duplicate it. Just scrubbing through that, that looks really good. So next what you want to do is, uh, this looks really good, but if you really want to top off the cake, you can actually add a shell. And you can just film shell on your black screen or green screen, or you can get it from uh, the also Action Movie Essentials Pack. So go to your 45 cal, place it right underneath your footage, and put it in the scale. So I make it just about the size of the barrel of the gun, and then go to your options, go transform, and mask the position. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go seven frames forward, and put your muzzle flash far out of reach, and then just bend it. So you shall right out of reach. And uh, so it's flying over there. And looking at that, it doesn't look that great because it looks crappy, but if you add motion blur, it looks like it's just flying across there and you can't totally see it. It's out of reach, and that looks good. How you do motion blur is you just tick off right here and then tick off your little box for motion blur. And there, that's a nice flash. Okay, if you want to check out our main channel, click right here. And uh, if you want to see more tutorials, just uh, leave a comment.